Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, please guide us with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so, we're going after the timeline now. So this is 8, uh, 1798, 1844. We're here somewhere. Okay, and then there's the close of probation. Okay. Jesus returns. Jesus returns. And then we have a thousand years in heaven. And then the new earth goes on forever. Okay, so who remembers some events that happened in these different times? So, so during the plagues, did we talk about the false Christ that would come? I think we did, maybe briefly. Well, a false Christ will come. And he will land on the Mount of Olives. Okay, that will happen around the time of the close of probation. Okay, and he will bring all the nations together. And he will tell them the Sunday is the Sabbath. Okay, so remember what Christ said? What did he say about his coming? How, how, would, how would it work? He'll come, he'll come with great noise and then, uh, yeah, everyone, every eyes will see. Exactly, it won't be secret, it's going to be very obvious, the whole world will know. Someone's not going to send you a WhatsApp and say, ah, oh, Jesus has come. You'll just look out and go, oh, okay, he's here. <laughs> and the other, yeah, the, the other thing is, what's happened before Jesus returns? Jesus earth is round, right? Yes. From where Jesus will come? Will the earth become like, it might. And then Jesus will come and then every eye will see. Yeah, it doesn't. We don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, yes. So, is it false? 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 Is this false Christ? Is it a prophecy like someone actually will come like that? It is a prophecy, but it's in Ellen White's prophecy. Is it Ellen White's prophecy? But it's also a prophecy. Wait. I have a prophecy. No, prophecy. No, no. Poker Rajo. Oh, papacy. papacy. Oh. Is it papacy? No. Tale, Seki Monogram Jesine for what as it is. Seki Mane John Money Asbe, Nakimura has taken up. So is he going to come like from the sky and land yes. on Mount of Olives or he will just you know, come burned? from the sky and land on the Mount of Olives? He, he will actually mimic what's going to happen here on the new earth. Okay? And God will allow him to do that. Because anyone who actually read the Bible and is faithful would know all of these plagues have to happen before Jesus returns. So genuine Christians who know their Bibles, they won't, dece they won't be deceived. Because they'll know the whole earth should be mashed by now, it should be gone. So, if you have a lot of people who are not going to be able to do this, you will come before the seventh place. 
around the time of, yeah. It doesn't say exactly, hmm. but it will be definitely before the last plague. And definitely before uh, the fourth plague. But it'll be during the start of the plagues, I believe. Okay. So, but but we know when does Jesus come? After. Once they're all done. Everyone's dead except for the, what's called the 144,000. They're the people who go through the whole plagues. Who are this one like 44,000? Um, hopefully you guys. Okay. Okay. There will be like many... Uh, there might be like many uh, believers, but only that is 144,000. Okay, good question. Good question. Um, just before here, uh, before the close of Revelation, there will start to be a huge persecution of our church. A lot of people will be killed for standing up for their faith. But some will go through to the end, okay? Okay, so... That's the thing about Christianity. It's not going to be easy. And this is going to be one of the worst times anyone's ever experienced. That's why we always say you need to prepare. And that's why I need you all to know that God is 100% real. You can be 100% sure. Because when all this persecution starts, you want to be very sure that you're following the right person. Okay. Because a lot of people will make you feel like you're stupid. Okay. Alright, so did that answer your question? So, why on a Ottasato Sumai, TSA? Jay Manusamu Prokito, Shabisha, Wild and Shadow to Thagbe, So, during this persecution, those who will be left like Wild and Sian, they will be 144,000. Um, there's a debate in the church. Monolith the actor. Yes. Um, some say some say it's a literal number. Some say it's a spiritual number. Anyway, some people say it's a spiritual. Some people say it's a literal. From what I've understood of Ellen White's writings, I believe it's a literal number. And same with what I read from the Bible. But I have no argument with people who have the other view. Again, I don't think it's clear enough to be sure. But we want to be a part of that number. <laughs> okay, so they're the ones at the end who have fully overcome their sin. And they can go through the place. Okay, so... Yeah, it's going to be a very tough time. And when the close of probation happens, 
uh, Satan, uh, the Holy Spirit is removed from everyone except for the 144,000. Okay. So, think of everything good that people do. They won't have that anymore. Everyone will revert back to pure evil. So again, it's going to be a very, very difficult problem. If you want to read about this, grab the great controversy and read chapter 39. But start with um if you want to read about this time of trouble. Which includes just before the close of probation. And the close of probation. And the plague, sorry. She describes that event. And again, most of it's just a Bible study. You, you see the start, it says, At that time, Michael shall stand up, the great prince. Remember we talked about that yesterday? Close of probation, that, that was the verse on the close of probation. Yeah. And then, yeah, you just read through it and she describes the events that are going to happen. You'll read in great controversy and this is all biblical, it, it, like a... It's all biblical what she says. It's remember just here, right? There's something called a special resurrection. Um, I won't test you on this, but I'll just teach you about it. Okay? So remember when Jesus was in front of uh, the Jews? And then he asked, Are you the Messiah or something like that? And he said, I am what I am. Which says, I am God. That's what and then he said, You will see me. Coming in the clouds at the right hand of the Father. Okay, this is talking about this event here. Because Caiaphas is long dead. Okay? But what's happening is the wicked, the persecuted Jesus, and, and many of the people, maybe Nero, will be resurrected. People who really persecuted the church. They'll be resurrected to see Christ coming in the clouds. And that will make them, just so they can see what they've done. And they can see they were on the wrong side. Now Christ isn't being vindictive. Uh, Christ isn't being, uh, what's, do you have the word vindictive? He's not just doing it to be annoying. He, he's doing it um, so they can know for sure that they're wrong. Okay, because they were very arrogant. And they had a lot of pride. 
uh, and try uh, and he needs to humble them. So they'll be resurrected there and other people will be resurrected as well. A lot of the people martyred for Christ. And a lot of the people that died in the three angels' messages. They will be resurrected. And then they'll meet God in the clouds. Okay. But primarily the important one is all the wicked like Caiaphas and all those kind of people. Okay? They will have they, they will be resurrect. resurrected to see Christ return. And they'll they and will then die. they'll die then, yeah. So they Yes. 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 এইখানে যারা ছিল তারা so those those who were there during that time when Jesus was saying that uh, you will see the Son of Man coming, they will be resurrected. Only those who were there. Um, them, but others too. Yeah. Others too. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. It's harder to biblically prove the others, but it's easy to prove from another one. Uh, Bible take a proman kora quotin J onorao thakrik in the Alan White boy take a pore bosa de tonor on the tilt. Because remember, she was a prophet, and remember it said, um, before I do anything, I'll send a prophet. And uh, one as a tinia john bahuva di among Tarporado Bola as a jay, Asharagi, a mother, Kasakan Bahuva di Kapano. So before this happened, he had to send a prophet to Thai, explain the detail. A shock is so hard again, tinia john Bahuva di Kapata, even the Hano Jono Jay Ashuli Kimuch. But at the very least, Caiaphas and his good boys will be resurrected there. Okay. 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 Mm. That time uh, we see that many resurrected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, did they go with Jesus in heaven, or they are they are here and they will get get up when Jesus will come? The Bible doesn't really say. Bible has to be Um, possibly they died again. But maybe they went to heaven. It doesn't really say. But there have been people who have gone to heaven, like Elijah. Uh, who else went? There was another one. Yeah. When Jesus told the thief who was on the cross, and he said that you will go to heaven, he said that today you will no, go to heaven. No, no, that, that's just a misreading of that text. That's a misreading? Yeah, because in okay. Bengali it says that Oddo means like, Today or now? Yeah, yeah, it's it's actually a mistranslation. 
যদি তারা স্বর্গে যায় That's not really a problem. Because just because we believe the dead die and stay in the grave. কারণ যেহেতু আমরা আমরা যে শুধুমাত্র এটা বিশ্বাস করি যে মৃতরা মারা গেছে এবং তারা ইয়া মাটিতে আছে. It doesn't mean heaven doesn't exist. এটা মানে এই না যে স্বর্গের কোনো অস্তিত্ব নাই. We know Moses is in heaven. আমরা জানি যে মোশি স্বর্গে আছে. And Elijah. এবং ইলিও. And Enoch. এবং হানু. And Is there another one? I think it was. I can't think of another one. I think mm-hmm. no. Okay, so you, people still can go to heaven, but in general, everyone dies, waits to the resurrection and goes up to heaven. তো সাধারণত সাধারণত মানুষ মারা যায় এবং তারা কবরে থাকে এবং তারা স্বর্গে যাবে পরে। So we get that from 2 Thessalonians 2:3 and 4. এটা আমরা পেয়েছি দ্বিতীয় থেসালোনিয়া 2 3 এবং 4। First Thessalonians 4:16. Yeah. প্রথম থেসালোনিয়া 4:16. Where it says for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. কারণ প্রভু স্বয়ং আনন্দ ধ্বনি সহ প্রধান দূতের ফ্রক সহ এবং ঈশ্বরের তুরিবাদ্য সহ স্বর্গ হইতে নামিয়া আসিবেন আর যাহারা খ্রিস্টে মরিয়াছেন তাহারা প্রথমে উঠবে Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds so that the ones that are well read it first yeah পরে আমরা যাহারা জীবিত আছি যাহারা অবশ্য থাকিব আমরা আকাশে প্রভু সহিত সাক্ষাৎ করিবার নিমিত্ত একসঙ্গে তাহার সহিত মেঘরথে নীত হইব So meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord এবং এই রূপে সততো প্রভু সঙ্গে থাকিব Okay so the 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 those who died in Christ যারা খ্রিস্টে মারা গেছে they rise first তারা প্রথম উঠবে um and then the rest of us go up then এবং আমাদের বাকিরা তখন উঠবে Okay All right is that clear বুঝতে পারছো So possibly the argument is that the ones that rise first will actually see Christ come. The, the dead in Christ rising will see Christ coming. তাই যারা আসলে খ্রিস্টে মারা যাবে তারাই দেখবে খ্রিস্টের আগমন। Okay. All right. So 1000 years. দেখুন 1000 বছর. What happens to the good uh, the um those in Christ over that time? ওই 1000 বছরে যারা খ্রিস্টে মারা গিয়েছিল তাদের কি হবে? তারা They will live with Christ. Okay, live and reign with Christ. Yep. Okay, and what are they during doing during that time? They will rule over the angels. They will test the judgments. Test the judgments. Tara bicha porikha bolbe. <coughs> they'll test who's there with them. তারা দেখবে যে কে তাদের সঙ্গে আছে। And you might go, oh, why isn't this person there? এবং তারপরে হয়তো এরকম হবে। আরে এই তো আমাদের সঙ্গে কেন নাই? তো ওই সময় ওদের এই মনোভাবটা আসবে না। যদি মনে করে ওর ভাই যদি না আসে তাহলে ওরা দুঃখ প্রকাশ করবে না যে আমার ভাইটা আসলো না। Yeah. If one can't find the brother and when they feel like <coughs> sad that their brothers are not there kintu amara to jani kintu amara to jani je sarker moddhe kono and in heaven there won't be any sadness no he said i will wipe away your tears i shall bless him jani tomar chokhe jol moshe debo and there will be no more sadness after that ebong tar pore ar kono so there will be a moment of sadness i think this time there will be sadness ar mone hoyche ei shomoye but that bit you're talking about is here on the new earth there won't be any sadness ar tumi jeta kotha bolcho seta hocche notun prithibi ekhane kono dukh thakbe na so it, it's going to be tough eta bodhin hobe but i think uh, there's a statement that says the glories of heaven are so great that you won't even remember the past 
তো একটা কথা আছে যে স্বর্গের গৌরব এতটায় মহৎ যে তুমি তোমার অতীতের কথা মনেও রাখবে আর যখন আমরা ঈশ্বরকে সম্পূর্ণভাবে বুঝতে পারি আর এই সময় আমরা বুঝতে পারবো we will know that the people he didn't bring to heaven they wouldn't have really liked heaven anyway okay so and they would have wrecked it made a mess of heaven because remember he's preparing us to be safe for heaven and that's that's what all of this life is about it's preparing us for, to be safe in heaven and so we can live in the presence of God without spontaneously combusting okay so this was all <coughs> where was this bound remember the test okay this is about the test you should know this <laughs> where is this found in the Bible in Revelation 20. Okay, so that's from Revelation 20 verse 4. Oh, and through to 8. And that that's so Revelation 4 through to 8. That, that tells you what's happening during this time. Revelation <laughs> So you can see I'm not making it up, just read it to read it. Okay. প্রকাশিত বাক্য কুড়ি অধ্যায় চার থেকে পড়তেছি আসো তোমরা পরে আমি কয়েকটি সিংহাসন দেখিলাম সেগুলোর উপরে কেউ কেউ বসিলেন তাহাদেরকে বিচার করিবার ভার তত্ত্ব হইল আর যিশু সাক্ষ্য এবং ঈশ্বরের বাক্যের নিমিত্ত যাহারা কুঠার দ্বারা হত হইয়াছিল এবং যাহারা সে পশুকে ও তাহার প্রতিমাকে ভজন করে নাই এবং আর এখন এখন ললাটে ললাটে ও হস্তে তাহার ছাপ ধারণ করে নাই তাহাদের প্রাণও দেখিলাম তারা জীবিত হইয়া সহস্র বছর খ্রিস্টের সহিত রাজত্ব করিল যে পর্যন্ত সেই সহস্র বছর সমাপ্ত না হইল সেই পর্যন্ত অবশিষ্ট মৃতেরা জীবিত হইল না ইহা প্রথম পুনরুত্থান যে গ্রহ এই প্রথম পুনরুত্থানের অংশীদারি হয় সে ধন্য ও পবিত্র উহাদের পরে দ্বিতীয় মৃত্যুর কোনো কর্তৃত্ব নাই কিন্তু তাহারা আহ ঈশ্বরে ও খ্রিস্টে যাদব হইবে এবং সেই সহস্র বছর তাহার সঙ্গে রাজত্ব করিবে সেই সহস্র বছর সমাপ্ত হইলে শয়তানকে তাহার কারাগার হইতে মুক্ত করা যাইবে তাহাতে সে পৃথিবীর চারি কোনে স্থিত লোক জাতিদিগকে গোপ ও মাগককে ভ্রান্ত করিয়া যুদ্ধে আগত করিবার জন্য বাহির হইবে তাহারা তাহাদের সংখ্যা সমুদ্রে বালকার তুলব তারপরে হচ্ছে মন্দদের অযোগ্য তোমরা কি জানো না যে আমরা দুধকণের বিচার করিব ইহ জীবন সংক্রান্ত বিষয় তো সামান্য কথা কি বলছে What does it say we'll do? It's like so we get to, we will have to judge the world, okay? Now a saint isn't talking about a Catholic saint. Anyone who is a Christian and a Christian is a saint. According to the Bible. Okay. okay, the whole saint worship thing was a Catholic 
So the saints shall judge the world, and if the world shall be judged by you, blah, 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 whatever. Okay, <coughs> and so know you not that we will judge angels as well. So we'll judge <coughs> not only the people, plus the angels who fell. They... Uh, uh, <coughs> That's when that will happen. Okay? And while there, Satan's doing what? Does everyone remember? Satan <coughs> He was bound. Mm -hmm. So he's bound at that same time. So he's left sitting on earth going, uh, no one left to tempt. And then we get to here, where we come down with Jesus, and there's a new heavens and a new earth. Yeah. So he's remade the earth. And he brings down the new Jerusalem. And it crushes out an area that's massive. And it's going to land on the Mount of Olives. But it doesn't mean the world's going to be the same as today. The earth's going to be reshaped. Back to the time before. <laughs> okay, so New Jerusalem lands, and then what happens to the wicked? Do you need to read it in the Bible? Bible So let's go. And read the rest of the lit, uh, but the rest of the dead. So this is Revelation five, uh, twenty. Sorry, verse five. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. So. So this is the this is when they will be raised. Okay, and then Satan will be released. And he'll deceive the nations again. So all these wicked people will combine together to into nations. And they will and he, and Satan will prepare them for the battle. Okay. Alright, and then they'll try and take the New Jerusalem. And they'll be and then they'll be destroyed. Okay, so that's yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. So, question. Yes. 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 Question. No, he is saying something that they will be deceived again. Like yeah, yeah, they will be deceived again. Yeah. That's true. Like those who are resurrected. Well, because, time. okay, this is an important question. We'll, we'll go over a little bit over time and then we'll... Cut a bit off the last lesson, okay? Achha, right. I know everyone's tired. <laughs> okay. So, why does God raise them again? Well, because um, around here, somewhere in the plagues, 
um, and particularly Caiaphas and all those guys. Bishesh kore Caiaphas ebo onanurra. When they raised. Jokhon tadher ke punorji to kora hoye chilo. They they realize well this is obviously the Christ. Aar ta kono thora busse par chilo hai ita to ashle Christo. And they bow down to him. Ebo tara tara kache matha matu kora. Remember it says Jesus said every knee shall bow. Ekhane mona se je Jishu bola chilen je sab hatu tar kache nato hobe. So what are they? Why doesn't God just say, "Okay, you can come to heaven now"? Well, that's the doubt He has to remove from our minds. Because if you have a parent or a family member that actually you saw bow down to Christ, এখন ধরো তুমি ধরো একজন পরিবারের লোককে যদি তুমি দেখো যে আসলে তারা even though he rejected Christ, over these thousand years, it might eat up at you a bit. And you might go, oh, maybe he should have been saved. God is unjust. And and here will be the chance to prove that wrong. That's why he raises them all again. Satan gets the opportunity to deceive them all again. And they're all deceived. And they all try and take the new Jerusalem. So we will know for sure that those people are not safe for heaven. Because if another Satan rises up, which could happen, they might follow him and make a mess of heaven again. Then God has to go through all this again. And he doesn't want to do that. This is to make sure that we know those people were 100% deceived and will always be deceived. So they're not safe for heaven. Okay. Heavenly Father, thank you for all these questions. I ask you to continue to give us all wisdom. Help us to understand your plans. So we can't so we're not shocked when they happen. And please prepare our hearts and minds for the time when they do. In Jesus' name. Amen.